Welcome back. So today we have a product from Amazon. It's called the Lifetime, that's the product name of it, Convertible Bench. And basically what it is, it's a metal and wood hybrid bench that has a reclinable back that you know, in an upright position, it acts like a seating bench. But if you'll notice down there, you can actually put two of them together and have a nice little picnic bench. We're looking at replacing the benches in our front yard and we think this is going to be a great product. So today we're gonna open it up, check it out, put it together, and then we're gonna answer the question, is it worth the buy? So stick around to the end and I'll give you my judgment. open up this box it is a little heavy if you get two people to help you that's awesome if not uh good luck <laughs> all right so this came shipped from amazon it was delivered uh, by two guys in the amazon vehicle um i think about three days is how long it took for them to deliver so good job amazon This is supposed to be everything that we need in one box. So let's see if this box is gonna open. Oh, we got a little bit of tape here. A little bit of tape. There we go. Overall, the box was shipped well. Like I said, they had two guys, dropped it off. Not a big issue there. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so you can see there's what, about six pieces. We got two of the seat slash back. We got two of the side supports. We've got two center supports. And we've got our bolts. We've got a couple tools. Those uh, ones in the bag there, they're going to be the, the handle mechanism that allows you to change positioning of the back from upright to flat. Instruction booklet's pretty light. Says you do need some pliers. So that'll come in handy later. And let's do it. Okay, so here we are. We've got the Lifetime Convertible Bench. Um, it went together semi-smoothly. Always, I have giant fingers, so getting to some of the spaces to get the, the bolts and the nuts going and getting started is always a little bit of a challenge. This is a little heavy, um, so make sure if you can get a second pair of hands to help you move stuff around or at least lifting it up and getting it originally set up and uh, broken down, that would be useful. Uh, is there anything I would do to make this a little bit better, a little easier? No, I think uh, overall this was a, a pretty simple build. I think that it was packed well, uh, obviously delivery was good, it was Amazon, never really have a problem with them. Seems like um, uh, it was straightforward, the instructions were very simple, it was just a couple of pages really. Uh, even the, the screws and the bolts and the nuts, they opened up really easily out of the blister packaging. I know originally I was using a razor blade to cut them open, but really it didn't take it, they just popped right out. So even the packaging was, was easy uh, to handle and work with. 
I did use a set of needle nose to help set the springs and the release mechanism. Uh, I did end up using a, a socket wrench instead of the wrench that they gave you. Although in some places the wrench was required because it was such a tight fit in there. But other than just, you know, the normal, my hands are too big thing, I think this was a great build. Um, it's definitely gonna be a great attraction out front as you can see by the pictures. Overall, I give this one an A for a worth the buy. And if you have any comments or suggestions, or if you built one of these yourself, and maybe you even saw something that could have done a little bit different, leave it in the comments down below. And if you have anything you would like us to build, uh, obviously Amazon, Costco, or you can see our other videos, just uh, leave it down in the comments as well. Give us a like, subscribe to us, and we will catch you next time on Worth the Buy. All right, have a good one.